Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. So let's get started with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle and take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now bring the circle up over your head Stretch to one side, stretch to the other side. Nice stretching, friends. One last stretch up at the top, and we'll bring the circle back down. And now it's time to sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Now, before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's go over three things quickly. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears like this. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm a part of our body up. Can you show me what part of our bodies we need to warm up? Our hearts, that's right. And we warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. So we have our listening ears on, our thinking hats on, and our hearts are all warmed up. And now we can get started with the calendar and weather chart. I have my pointing stick because first, we need to go over the date. And when we see the date, we start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? May, you're right, the month is May. And today is May 11th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 10th, and today is May 11th, 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Friends, will you say the date with me one more time? Today is May 11th, 2021 or 2021. And now let's get our counting fingers ready and give them a little stretch to warm up. Let's count the days that we've had so far in the month of May. So we're going to start off at the top with the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have had 11 days so far in the month of May. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. For this song, we need to hold up seven fingers. Will you show me your seven fingers? Seven fingers for seven days of the week. The song goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, M, Monday. Yesterday was Monday. So that means that today is Tuesday and tomorrow will be Wednesday. But let's go back to today. Will you sing Today is Tuesday with me? It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Friends, do you know what the season is? Springtime, that's right. It's springtime where I live. Guess what I noticed in my garden the other day? 
it's a new sign of spring. I noticed that the asparagus was popping up from underneath the ground in my garden. Asparagus is one of my favorite vegetables and they come up in the early springtime. Now let's move back down to the bottom of the chart and let's sing the weather song together. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So it looks like I have a picture of a cloud and the sun. When I look outside of my window, it's not raining anymore, but it's still mostly cloudy. However, I do see the sun trying to poke through the clouds a little bit. Today, my temperature chart is on orange. It's pretty warm where I live. It's actually kind of humid. When it feels humid outside, that means that there's a lot of moisture in the air. The air can almost feel a little bit sticky. So it's mostly cloudy, warm and humid where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Take a peek outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we talked about this new letter. Can you make the sound that this letter says? That's right, friends. And let's make that sound together. V, v. This is a lowercase v, and v says v, v. And now it's time to move on to the mystery box. So what I have today is too big to fit inside of the box. It's right up here in front of me, but I'll show you what it is after I give you your clues. Here's your first clue. It's something that starts with the letter v, v. This is something that you fill with water and then you put cut flowers inside of it. Do you know what that's called? A vase. This is a vase. So this vase is made out of glass. Do you hear that sound that it makes? So because it's made out of glass, it's pretty fragile. I fill it with water, not all the way, just about halfway, and then I take cut flowers from outside and I put them inside of the vase because flowers need water to grow. Vase starts with the letter V, V. This is how you write a lowercase V, V. One more time. Yesterday, we also learned a new number of the week. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 23. And when you write the number 23, you write two numbers. First, you write the number two, and then you write the number three. 23. Let me grab my piece of chalk. You can grab something to write with, and let's draw 23 tally marks. If you don't want to do that, instead, you can just count along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 tally marks. Yesterday, we also learned a new sign of the week. I showed you how to say spider in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends. You take 
both of your hands and you put one hand on top of the other hand and wiggle your fingers like this. Spider. Speaking of spiders, did you know that a spider is not actually a bug, but instead it's a type of an arthropod called an arachnid? Spiders are different from bugs because they only have two body parts instead of three. Spiders have eight legs instead of six, and spiders do not have wings or antenna. A spider uses its spinnerets, which are parts of its body, to make a silk thread. Now some spiders, but not all, will then build a structure using its silk called a web. Webs are mostly created to catch insects for the spider to eat. And because webs are sticky, small insects, like flies, will get stuck inside of a web and then the spider has caught its dinner. But not every spider spins a web to catch food. Some spiders will hunt their food and others will build a sticky net to throw over their prey. Let's move on to today's work. For today's work, you will need a paper plate, a pair of scissors, some yarn, and some tape. Now a second option would be to use a paper plate, some yarn, and a hole punch with some tape. So either a pair of scissors or a hole punch. And if you don't have a paper plate, instead you can just use a thick piece of paper. Today we are going to weave spider webs. So your first option would be to use a pair of scissors and you or your grown up can take the scissors and you're just going to cut out little pieces along the edge of the paper plate like this. So almost like little triangles. So just go along like this a little triangle piece. And again, friends, if you need a little bit of help with the first part of this work, you can ask a grown up to help you. So I'm just going to go along and cut out these little triangles. So once all the triangles are cut out along the edge of the plate, you're going to take your yarn and a small little piece of tape. You're going to put on the end of one piece like this and just tape it to the back just to hold it in place because you're going to begin to weave your spider web. So bring it across to one side and then here it comes up from another triangle and bring it across to the other side. So on the other side, this is what it looks like on the back. Weave it across and just keep going until all of the triangles have been used up by a piece of yarn. Here's a web. Now friends, the other option would be to do the same thing, but instead of cutting out little triangles, if you have a hole punch, you can just go along and punch holes around the circle instead like this. So keep punching all around. One more. So we have a bunch of holes. 
and you're going to take your piece of yarn and a little piece of tape, flip it over to the back so that you can just hold it into place and then find the other end of the yarn. If it looks like the yarn is going to be too long, if you have too much, you can just trim off any extra like this. Now I recommend if you are doing the weaving activity using the hole punch, you also add a little bit of tape to the other end of the yarn like this, just because sometimes the yarn can get stuck when you're trying to thread it through the hole. So this just makes it come through a little bit easier like this. So a little piece of tape on both ends. And let's start our spider web. I'm going to find one hole and pull it through all the way like this. And then I'm going to bring it through another hole and pull it through. And let me show you one last time so that we can just begin to see the spider web getting formed. The more holes that the yarn comes through, the more you can see your spider web like this. And that's your work for the day. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. So there are two important things to remember about spiders. Number one, spiders are not bugs. They are arachnids. And number two, even though all spiders make silk, all spiders do not make a web. Before we go, will you sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider with me? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Can you wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends. I'll see you tomorrow.